Hey guys, so uh, I've decided to work on a new terrain project. Um, it's going to be for a combination of fantasy terrain slash Malifaux. Um, and I'll show, I'm gonna, this video might be in a couple of parts, might be in one, and it's going to be it's a very big project, it's very tall. It's, a, it's one piece, it's gonna be very big, but it's gonna be modular, so that means that I can use the smaller pieces if I don't want the whole thing, but for display and if I just feel like using it in game, I can use one big epic thing. And this is what it is. So, my inspiration, this is the Malifaux second edition rule book. I'm gonna be making that. It's a big bell tower, it, and it is so cool. It's pretty much the thing that drew me into Malifaux. Apart from that dude, the first time I saw this book, I'm like, that's awesome. I want to paint that. And the next thing I saw was that. I'm like, whoa, that's it. It really encompasses the the world of Malifaux. I feel like the um, every detail of it. So like starting from the roof, the sort of ruined shingled roof reminds me of sort of Victorian era. The mechanical bell is very steampunk. The sort of crappy... Um, railing all broken down is sort of Victorian slash sort of Wild West. The types of windows are sort of Victorian slash Wild West. The rickety old um, staircases, which look like they're made of wood, and the wooden balcony are very Wild West. So it really sort of encompasses all the aspects of um, of Malifaux, apart from sort of the horror theme, which isn't really re present in in the cover art except for maybe the big full moon. But anyway, so that's really inspiring for me, and I'm going to recreate that. Um, this, vi this video is going to be the first step, and this is going to be if you're... Same as, same as if you're doing any... Um, so the first step for any terrain piece is your planning. Um, and so what I did to, pl to plan this out was I sort of did a rough sketch um, of equal equal sizes of the drawing of the the artwork, just to sort of plan out how I want to do it. I drew the windows for some scale. The windows are going to be bigger than that. What I ended up doing was this main section here, which worked out to be here. I decided I was going to turn that into four levels, and I based that off the buildings that I've already done before. Here's one of them. So I I measured the size of each floor and I sort of I sort of roughly worked out what I think would make sense so so it's about two and a half inches high for each floor so four floors there is 10 inches four levels I'm gonna have some uh, uh, sort of a concrete slash rock foundation I'm not quite sure yet which is going to be underneath that's going to be about an inch in height four floors I'm gonna do the staircases as well out of balsa wood um, again, the, the windows aren't going to be that size. If that's one floor, it's going to be roughly the same size as this. The window is going to be that size. The bell uh, and the mechanics, that's going to be... So that's roughly two levels, which is five inches. So although it's not quite to scale, that, that section there is going to end up being the same size as two floor levels. So if this is two floors, that bell section is going to be this size with the bell sort of hanging about middle range. Above that, I've got the roof, which is six inches, which is just over two floors again. So all up, this is going to be 10, 15, 21, 22 inches tall. It's going to be a really tall, really nice terrain piece. So this is just the planning stage. This was really, so I, because I, I drew it out on the paper, meant that I could mark out how, you know, I, I could actually draw on it. Instead of drawing on the cover of my rule book, I, I copied, copied the artwork onto a piece of paper, and then I could I could scribble on this as much as I want. So now I've got the planning stage. I'm going to be going from the ground up and I'm going to be posting videos as I work on it. So I'll probably post this tonight after I finish filming. And um, hopefully you guys are going to stay tuned and hopefully you're as excited about this as I am because I'm pretty stoked. This is going to be a lot of fun. Thanks guys.